Hello and welcome to video number seven. In this specific video, I'm going to share with you how to start a campaign with Mailjet. There are three different types of campaigns. And in this specific video, I'm going to cover HTML templates. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So to get started with creating your campaign, if you click on campaigns at the very top here, and if you scroll to the right, you're going to click on this big orange button that says create a campaign. And then at this point, you need to include the title, which is just for yourself, the subject line of the email, the sender name. So it could be your company name or your name in itself. You're going to choose your sender address. So we've select the support at checkthisoutrightnow.net. And of course, remember your subject line is very important. It's the first thing people will see. But since this is a test, we're going to just include that. You want to choose the language of your campaign. We're going to do English, but you can choose a bunch of different other options here. Now you're going to see three different campaign types. You got to use our easy and fast tool to create your campaign. You can use our easy and fast tool with a predefined template, or you can import your own HTML code. And I'm going to show you at video number nine, how to do this. So we're going to click on here since we're going to be using the HTML predefined templates. And right below that, you're going to see different layouts. We've got basic layouts, two column text, text, common, which includes different business type templates with different colors. As you can see here, we've got e-commerce, different templates here, and my templates. And of course, my templates is where you can create your own template. Now I'm going to click on common here. And I'm going to go ahead and choose a template. Let's say, for example, that I'm going to use this one here. And you can preview them by clicking on preview. So that's what it looks like. And when you are ready to select one, simply click on select. After you've selected a template that interests you, click on Save and Continue. Now, as you can see here, you can easily edit things here. You can edit here, you can edit, you know, click up here to edit the header. So you can upload your image that you would like to upload. When you double click it, you can change the image here. You can edit the text. You can edit this. You can change the color, as you can see here. You can change the text. So it's, it's like a mini little mini editor here. Uh, you can change the alignment, right align, left align. Um, you can make bullets, you can uh, do bold italicize, underline, and so forth. And of course when you're done, click on done. You can edit these other graphics here with your own graphics. Call to action. If you don't want these things, you can click on X 
to delete them. You can, as you can see on the left hand side here, these are basically broken up into content blocks. So if I want to delete a specific block and keep it simple, I can actually do that. And I can add my own block. So let's say for example, I want an image over here and some text under here, right underneath here. So if I check this one, I can actually drag and drop it over here. And that's the beauty of Mailjet is their template creator is just really, really easy to use. And if you click the image, you can upload the image, you can edit the text and so forth. And of course, in order for any Mailjet email to work, they're going to add this link that allows people to unsubscribe so that it complies with spam compliant uh, rules and regulations. Now, once you're done, all you have to do is click on save and click on continue to actually send the email. Now, I'm not going to talk about this right now. I'll talk about how to send your emails in video number 10, but I wanted to show you how to use the content blocks, how to move things around, how to make it look like what you want it to look like and so forth. So uh, I would say probably this here is probably what most people are going to use. And some of you might want to use the HTML source code and video number nine. And so for th those of you who don't want to use any HTML at all, you can use text and I'll show you that in the next video. But I wanted to show you this so that you can see how easy it was to create your own templates. And of course, when you create save template here, you can call it any template you want so that you can use the template in the future. And that's it.